Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Newton Silas and I'm here with Nancy Grace. And today guys, we have a very interesting video to react to. And this one says that Paradise and Jenna and it was done by Sheikh Khalid Yassin. So guys, before we get onto the video, if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video, you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys before we get on to the video i'm a theologian and i make this video not to discredit anyone's religion this is basically for educational purposes and i believe that at the end of this video we all are going to learn from this so guys let's get on to this video and check this out This from a young, young child that's six years old. They want to know what paradise is going to be like. Well, let me just tell you this. Our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that there will be no children in paradise. But wait a minute. And that's because all the children, whether they die, whether they're killed, whether they starve by disease, in paradise, on the day of judgment, no children will be judged because children in Islam are considered innocent. So in paradise, the Prophet ﷺ told us that all the inhabitants of paradise will be 33 years old and they will never get any older. So if this six-year-old child wants to know what paradise would be like, we think that if God Almighty causes you to grow in faith, that you will be in paradise. But in case you don't get to grow, if you don't get to become an older or an adult person, when you get to paradise, you also will be 33 years old. The Quran mentions that in the paradise there will be no sweat, no bad smells, nobody has to take a bath, nobody gets older, nobody gets tired, there is no wounding, there's no bad words, nobody has to work, there's no labor, nobody has to pay for anything, everybody has their own palace a palace. Everybody has their own palace. A palace in paradise might be five or ten times the size of this place that we're here right now. Everybody will have one of those. Everybody will have beautiful clothing. Everybody will sit on brocade couches with pearls and diamonds encrusted. Everybody will have the food that they like to eat without having to cook it. Fruits will grow inside your garden that you just call the fruit and it bends down and gives itself to you. Everybody will be served. Nobody will have to cook or get up and clean and wash and do dishes. Everybody will be served. Paradise means Everything in life that you ever imagined, that you ever wanted, you will have it there, but on the highest level. And the best thing of all, nobody in paradise will die. Everybody will live forever, and the words will be peace. And if you my homeboy, and we all in paradise together, I'll come over to your palace, and we party over there. Because what else could paradise be but the best of whatever it is people want in this life that they can never have. That's what paradise is. Oh, I think that um, Khalid Yassin explained this paradise in according to the uh, Islamic uh, conception. 
But then to you as a Christian grace, like what do you think like paradise mm -hmm. is like to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, very interesting. Yeah. Like I always say that I'm here to learn. We are here to learn yeah. from each other. So today I have learned from him that paradise, there will not be children. Yeah. I think I have heard the same thing before. Yeah. And as I said, I'm still learning. I will still go and research about it. Yeah. So I think what he said about the children is true because children, they know nothing. They don't know anything. Mm. So they are innocent. So mm. they won't be there. So yeah. if he's talking about paradise, is a place of rest. And mm. I'm very happy to hear about that. That is a place of rest. Mm. But let's have it at the back of our mind that mm. we have to work it out. We are, I'm saying this according to the scripture, that mm. he is coming back. Remember, Jesus said that I'm going there to prepare a place for us, mm. we being his children, mm. that he will come and take us to a place. Mm. There will be no death. Mm. So I think we have to work it out as we are working our salvation out. It's just not for everybody, as he's saying, paradise, paradise. Mm. It's not for everybody. I, I'm quoting, I'm saying it according to scripture. He said that, uh, he, he said that he's coming, according to Revelation, to reward us. Mm. He's rewarding every man according to his work. Mm. So I think it's the work you are putting in, doing the work of God, what he has called you to do, mm. that will make you to know whether you you, you will be there and I pray that we all will be there and also rejoice and I also want to say something as he said we, 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 there will not be party you won't have time to party mm -hmm. what we are going there is to worship your maker mm -hmm. day and night as the angels mm -hmm. does is my own well, opinion I do not know if it was actually a coincidence that he was saying that in paradise there won't be growth beyond the age of 33. Do you think it was a coincidence that Jesus died at the age of 33 yeah. while he was here on that? But anyway, <laughs> to whether it's a coincidence or not, but then everything he's saying is based on the Islamic um, belief. Okay. But then one thing is for sure, if humans die, what happened to the person? He died, the souls only resurrect, right? Yeah. It's been expected that the souls leaves the body, but the body remains here, right? So let's assume that we are going to heaven and then there will be everything you eat, no more cooking. So like, how do we eat when we don't have body? What do you think like about that? You don't eat. <laughs> That's why you see, you see, I was asking based on how he was saying it because he was like, everything will be there, you eat whatever you want to eat and all those things. And then since I believe that's based on the Christians, um, believe that what happened is when you die is only your souls that goes there and then after the judgment day that's when you'll be judged and then after that everybody um, get his own crown okay. depending on whatever you do i've always said that i don't really need a crown actually i just want to just make it to heaven that's it but then if possible then what i should be expecting is if i should be able to see my maker because if you look at um, how the judgment day is going to be it shows that there are a lot that will make it to heaven, but still, they will not still see the face of God. So the primary goal for every believer is to actually see the face of God for who he is. Yeah. And not necessarily about just making it in a stand to paradise. I believe that the paradise, no one have actually died and then come back and know how he is, yes. how it is actually. Yes. But yeah. then everything is just based on assumption that this is how paradise is going to be. And this paradise we are talking about is something that um, is just beyond comprehension but have you think about the lord's prayer yeah, yeah. so now when he says that in the sun let thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven what do you think that means his presence the way it is is being done in heaven. Yeah. The way they worship him. Let yeah. it be done on earth. If the presence of God being here on earth, being with you, I think you have nothing to lack or you have nothing to fear because his presence So you think it was based on worship? That's it's why it says that let thy kingdom come, come on earth as it is in heaven. His kingdom is come. Okay. To you, like you are praying to God, let thy kingdom come. Yeah. The way it is, is being done there, that if the presence of God be with you. Let's assume that our rulers, right? Yeah. Our kings, let's, let's assume that some of them are bad and not actually from God, right? Yeah. 
yeah. and he says that and he knows that um, per our society right yeah. the authority is being given to them so whatever they see or whatever they decree is done right yeah. so now he says that whatever that is bound on earth is also bound in heaven yeah. How do you do that? What if the person that actually ordered that decree, you understand, is not of God? So what happened at that point in time? Uh, yes, you are. You, is this? I think it's almost similar to what um, what we are saying that you for you to decree, you the the, the the spirit of God have to dwell in you. You need to have that power. Yeah. When the spirit of God is upon you, yeah. say thou shalt receive power, power yeah. to decree power to make wealth. So it's the spirit that dwells in you. When his presence, when his kingdom come, that is his presence dwells in you. So what will you say about Pharaoh? Decree. Do you think it was the spirit of God that was on Pharaoh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that would be a question. That would be a video of its own on a different um, day. Okay. So guys, this is the end of our video. If you like our reaction, if you like, share and subscribe. And if you have any video you want us to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and we're gonna check it out. Guys, notwithstanding, of course, your thoughts and opinion are all welcome at the comment section. Whatever you have to say, the contribution you have to say concerning this video, you can actually drop it at the comment section. Let's all learn from one another. So guys, you remain blessed and I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.